During the warmer months of spring and summer, I love having overnight oats for breakfast. I make this the day before by mixing all the ingredients together and keeping it in the fridge overnight. The following morning, it's cold and refreshing. It's perfect for the season, just like how a hot bowl of oatmeal in winter is so perfect that time of year. I like to add all kinds of superfoods to it. These days, I'm enjoying chia seeds, ground flax seeds, walnuts, dried cranberries, banana, and maple syrup. It's lunchtime and I have been back on a smoothie kick probably because it's warmer and my go-to smoothie is a strawberry banana blueberry hemp heart almond milk smoothie. I use frozen strawberries and that makes it nice and cold and thickens the smoothie up a bit. The hemp hearts are a great source of all kinds of minerals and vitamins. It also adds a nice amount of protein to my smoothie. I have carrots and snap peas in the greenhouse that are ready for harvest and those are my favorite veggies to dip in hummus. If you have a little bit of sunshine where you're at, I highly recommend growing some kind of food in a pot or um, out in the soil. It's so rewarding growing your own food, even if it's just a little bit. For dinner, I am making my favorite black bean corn sweet potato quesadillas. It is so easy to make. I just roast a cut up sweet potato on 425 Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. I then saute black beans and corn over medium heat in a little bit of water. I like to add chili powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper to the mix. like to use whole wheat tortillas but they were out of stock at the store so I went ahead and grabbed some large organic white flour tortillas. It's a treat. <laughs> I like to put my tortillas under the broiler for a few seconds to warm and brown them. The sweet potato is done cooking and cooled a bit. 
the skins pop right off and I just smash it onto the tortilla. I add a little salt and pepper and top it with the black bean and corn mix and then some salsa and avocado. It's so good and very satisfying. I don't always have a dessert, but I thought I would share my favorite little evening pick-me-up if I have a sweet tooth and I need a little bit of energy, which I do tonight to finish making this video. I made a little bit of coffee and poured it over two scoops of vanilla oat milk ice cream and sprinkled it with some shaved dark chocolate. Coffee ice cream is my favorite.